This is the truth code explaining the swastika. Here is a grid, seven by seven. Seven is an important number. There is the male image of seven with the triangle representing the material side of things, threeness, and the equilateral cross representing uh, the spiritual fourness. Here is the female image, the opposite of this. If you color in seven squares, like this, you form a T-shape. Which stands for the um, material side of things. And then you complete the pattern around all four corners of the grid. Like this. you form the swastika image. The T's represent the material physical side of things and the swastika represents the spiritual aspect. This is the original image from which the swastika as we know it is derived. The original image was used as a meditative aid and a teaching tool about the nature of the cosmos which is duality and the opposites. You can see that the swastika image is centric it's got the center of the grid with the equilateral cross emphasized, representing the spiritual side of things. The fact that uh, so many um, myth traditions emphasize only the what we call the swastika is uh, has profound psychological implications. This is a one-sided attitude uh, favoring uh, a concern with uh, the spiritual. This is the swastika is called a solar image, and it can be called that. The and then the uh, T form is uh, not very co commented on very much that it would then in fact refer to the moon if the swastika is thought to be a solar image. And the, the fact that right there the um, lunar aspect is not shown indicates a one-sided preference. This is uh, very typical of myth traditions around the world after a certain point in human history. Before this was the predominant dual image and this latter, um, later uh, religious attitude is typical of, again, the Western psyche, what they call the Western psyche. And this is typical of the Eastern psyche, which is centric and balanced. This is eccentric and unbalanced. Not that it is pathological in any way, it certainly is problematic, but the difference between these two is indicative of a certain uh, one-sided attitude which characterizes our quote, end quote, uh, Western philosophy. And of course, this always comes down to uh, people claiming to have contact with the spiritual, claiming to know it, and of course people you know, end up claiming to be divine themselves. That is, and then they try to rule over people. That is certainly um, socio sociopathic, but uh, that is what people do when they refuse to accept uh, the duality and just live with that. They choose one over the other to the, to the exclusion of one of them. And that is, uh, that is, sociopathic. I hope you enjoyed this video.